Good morning. My name is Ron Morris. This is Moving Forward TV, your local real estate and mortgage update. And I'm Delyn Gaston. Thanks for watching the show. Well, the government is at it again. Once again. Come October 1st, if you didn't catch the article this week in the paper, come October 1st, they are reducing the FHA loan limits. Now, for those of you who don't know, FHA is the best program out there Absolutely. right now. No question. They, uh, for first time home buyers or actually for seasoned buyers as well, they have the lowest down payment requirements Three and, and percent. the best interest rates right now. Great but what they do limit is the amount of money that they will lend to you based upon what county you're buying in. Right. And they are in the midst of reducing those limits back down. A couple of years ago, in an effort to stimulate the economy, they actually increased those loan limits, but but they're lowering them back down now. Exactly. Now, in our area, the Bay Area, which is Sar uh, Sarasota, how about Hillsborough, <laughs> Pinellas, Pasco, Pasco, and Hernando, Hernando in our, basically our neighborhood, let's call it. Currently, the loan limits are 292.5. Mm -hmm. Come October 1st, they're going to reduce that down to 271.050, which really in our area is not that big of a deal. Right. It's a little re a reduction is slightly over $21,000. But in other parts of the state, in other parts of the country, it's a huge deal. For example, Our take viewers. Sarasota Bradenton, which we have some viewers in. Currently, their loan limit is 442.5. They're going to reduce that down to 285.2. It's a reduction of a, a little over $157,000. That's huge. That's huge. So, folks, if you are in the Sarasota Bradenton area, act now. Now, now is, exactly. Now is absolutely the time to do that. You know, if you're in that in that viewing area, the Sarasota Bradenton area. And you're currently looking to go FHA, you're probably looking as much as to four hundred, four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Come right. October first, you're going to be forced if you go FHA to look at homes under three hundred thousand dollars. That is a big, big deal. And if you're a seller in that area as well, right now, if your house is in the four hundred thousand dollar price right. range, you have FHA potential buyers there. Come October first, you're not going to have those no buyers more. anymore. Okay, speaking of increasingly diminishing loan amounts. What is increasingly diminishing? It, is that like jumbo shrimp? Getting smaller. Okay. <laughs> we wanted to talk a minute about the interest rates going up. We all know that the interest rates will be going up, and how much does the interest rate going up affect your loan approval going down? We all know right now these interest rates are fabulous. They are they just are. absolutely fabulous. <laughs> and and But they're not going to stay there. No. Every single economist out there is telling us the interest rates are going to go up. There is no two ways about it. They have to go up. They are going to be going up. And we wanted to look at exactly how much that means your purchasing power. loan approval, right. purchasing power, good good term, <laughs> is going to be going down as the interest rates go up. And let's look let's look at an example on that. Somebody today qualifying for a hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan, our current rates, which are about four and a half, your P and I, your principal and interest payment of that is going to be seven hundred and sixty dollars. Okay. Let's take that same and we're just gonna go uh, P and I to P and I here. We're not going to get into taxes Bare in bones. this example. Let's just try to make this real uh, simple. Take that same seven hundred and sixty dollars at four and a half purchases a hundred and fifty thousand dollar home. Let's say rates go to five and a half. All of a sudden, that one hundred and fifty thousand dollar home goes down to I think it's one thirty three. Right? One thirty-three. Seventeen thousand dollar reduction. Now let's keep playing that out because as Dylan said, rates tend to go up much, much quicker than they come down. So at six and a half, that seven hundred and sixty dollar payment is now gonna buy you a hundred and twenty thousand dollar property, which is a thirty thousand dollar reduction from today's current rates. Go one more time at seven and a half, which is not out of the question no. at, at some point in the near future. Wouldn't surprise not, us. Let's not say near future. At seven and a half percent, that seven hundred and sixty dollar payment is going to equate to a hundred and eight thousand dollar purchase. That's now, huge. for the realtors and buyers out there, look at a hundred fifty thousand dollar home and then a hundred and eight thousand dollar home. What kind of difference do you see there? Big difference. You know, we're passing this important information along to you so that you can pass it along to your buyers and hopefully move them off the fence. And if you are the buyer out there, you need to sit there and think about this because if you're sitting there thinking that you're price, going to wait for the prices to go a little bit lower, now is the time. You need to move right now. You want to take advantage of those low rates right now. You don't want to miss that vote. In reference to values going down, there's an article in the paper yesterday that clearly states in the Bay Area, which is Pinellas, Hillsboro, Pasco, and Hernando, the home prices have actually went up every yes. month. One month they stayed the same. So the values have either increased or remained the same all year. So if you're waiting for the bottom, you, it's already it's, been it's here. here. You, need, you need to move right <laughs> Get now. Off you're going to regret it. Now is the time, guys. You need to move. Now, that being said, we all know that interest rates go up a whole lot faster than they go down. So, and you just heard how that affects your qualifying. So you really need to move right now. And that's pretty much our show this week. Wanted to thank everybody. Please forward this to friends, relatives, neighbors, anybody that has any interest in real estate or mortgage connections. Please forward that to them. Follow us on Facebook. 
Twitter, Twitter. on a personal LinkedIn, note. YouTube. All those social media. On a personal note, I, one of my passions is fishing. I started Ron's Fishing Blog, which is a, a link over here on the blog section. Follow that. Uh, anybody that you know that's interested in that, by all means, have them chirp in on that as well. And finally, you have all heard the phrase that <laughs> it takes a village to raise a child. Well, in this industry, it takes a whole team to get a loan all the way through to closing. And we couldn't do this without our team. If you have any questions about title or anything like that, Gary and Kathy at McFarland Gould, uh, Home Inspections, Danny, Danny from Pillar to Post is absolutely wonderful. And insurance, you cannot close a, uh, on a loan without that homeowner's, homeowner's insurance. insurance. So check out Jason with that. He's an independent yes. broker. He's going to shop for your best interest there. So keep all, keep all of the sponsors in mind. They're, they're our team. We can't, uh, can't thank them enough. That's right. Thanks again for watching. We are moving forward. We'll see everybody next week. Bye-bye. When I was a kid, I left home to join a traveling circus. Well, were your folks upset? Are you kidding? They're the ones who got me the job. <laughs> <laughs>